Hello, my name is Clint Halstead, and this is a Zumo Shield uh, Lessons Learned. I built the uh, the Zumo robot, mini Zumo robot, by Pololu, and um, wanted to go over some of the lessons learned. If you follow the user's guide, you'll have pretty good success, but there's a few things I wanted to mention. Um, pretty much, it goes from 1 to 20, and once you get through 20 then you're pretty much done um, when you get to 7 that's the motors I did notice that the book says to uh, wire with a plus sign in this direction uh, at the front of the robot and if you do that my robot was reversed so I think possibly the instructions could be messed up but there's an easy fix uh, I can show you later that the book talks about, uh, that the user manual talks about. So you just have to uncomment a section of code that says reverse the motors. On section um, 10, the next section tells you to put in an M3 nut into the sides. And what I say is don't do that because they wind up just falling out anyway. Uh, by the time you move this thing around and position it, they eventually just fall out. So I would I would just skip that step. Another thing on 13 is the screws that they provide for you are too short. And I had to buy some longer screws, and the screws I bought were too long. Um, but it's the only thing I could find. And so the solution for that for me was I just took some these are some wire strippers but the wire strippers have um, some bolt cutters if you see here on them so I just put this in here about halfway and then just cut it and just bolted it off um, one thing I'd like to mention on that is if you put the put the nut on the screw this is the wrong size nut but if you have the wrong the right size one on put the right size nut on the screw and then when you cut it when you back it out off, it'll it'll help fix the uh, the indentions that were put in by the bolt cutters, and that works well. Um, what I'd like to say really quick is, don't use your wire cutters to do that. If you use wire cutters, then it'll completely damage your wire cutters. Fifteen went well. Everything else went pretty good. Um, you get to the end at twenty, and then, of course, you need to download your your libraries and then program it. And at this point, that's when the robot started going backwards. And it took me a while to figure out what was going wrong. I thought the robot was just acting crazy, but it was actually going backwards. Um, now as far as everything else, I had one thing I didn't realize is you had to have this reflect, reflectance array um, in order to get the robot to do anything useful. For example, follow a line or um, do a sumo wrestling competition. So this was an extra 15 bucks that I had to buy. And also, um, in order to get the robot to beep, you have to make sure to install what was considered the optional um, header pins here, and you have to put the jumper in this position, the blue uh, jumper as shown. So this comes out, put this back in, in this position, and then that'll make it, um, that'll make it beep. Okay, and then Another issue I had was, I'll show you really quickly, this is the, this is the reflectance array connector. I actually put my connector in wrong. I was off by one. You have to make sure the connector doesn't really fit in there very well. You have to uh, make sure you skip two rows on this side and two, I guess we'd call it columns. 
skip two columns here and then skip two columns here. I, I skipped three. Um, and then I was thinking I would have to somehow unsolder that, but actually, as it turned out, I got lucky because not all the pins are used. Only the pins that are circled are actually used. So I was actually just to insert the, um, the header in by just moving over one one row and then I was able to get it to work without having to desolder the thing that I messed up. Also when you're soldering the um, shield here you have to make sure for since I have Leonardo you have to make sure the jumper is in this position as shown and for the Uno you have to have the jumper in the other position the little blue jumper. So once that goes in place and you take into consideration the fact that I put it in in the wrong spot. And then, of course, by the time that you connect connect the uh, Arduino, then once you turn it on, you should get red lights on the bottom for the Zumo shield. If you don't, then that means something's wrong. And then you should get um, these lights on top and one thing you can note as well it took me a while to figure out that as soon as you turn it on this LED 13 blinks like a heartbeat um, for like six or seven minutes and then when it stops then it's ready to be programmed and so you can connect your cable and program it. Also to get the border detect program to work um, you need a dark surface and then a white surface and you simply just turn it on wait for the heartbeat to go away and then uh, you just push the user button and then it beeps four times and then goes and then the little booger is hard to catch once it goes off you can see that it actually works. It's a little crazy. Um, now, that was all the information for the hardware. I'm going to also, also talk a little bit about the software lessons learned. One of the issues I had with the software is when you download the libraries um, from the website, uh, that is... Um, Polo's website, you get this Zumo Shield Master, and then you right click it and then unzip it, of course. Extract. And then it'll put it in this folder, Zumo Shield. My problem is is I took this Zumo Shield folder and I moved it into the Arduino library and that won't work properly. That will not work properly. What you actually have to do is you have to move each individual folder into the libraries directory. I don't want to do it, but you have to move each one of these individually into the directory. You have to close down Arduino, move them in there, and then open it back up. And then that, that will work. If you don't do that, then you get all kinds of compile errors in your code. But other than that, once you do that, then you should be able to go to File, um, go to exam Examples, go to Zumo Examples, and then Border Detect, that's the Sumo Wrestling. And you have to make sure, first off, you have to make sure that your board is set to Leonardo then you have to make sure that the um, serial port is set to COM4. In my case, mine's already been set, but I think the default's COM1. COM1's not going to work. You actually have to, the best way to know for sure is to go to your device manager on your computer. So right click on your computer icon and I'm waiting for that to come up. 
while that's coming up, I will show you one other thing. Um, so if you have the libraries properly placed, then this should compile. And what you have to do is, since the motors are probably going to be flipped, you have to uncomment out this line here that says motors flipped. Okay, so that's in order to get the, the motors to go in forward mode. And in order to, to know that, you need to make sure that the, the Zumo is either um, is pointing at something dark, a dark surface like black. Because if it's not put it pointing at black, then it, it'll try to turn. So make sure that the Zumo robot with black under it, it should be going in the direction of the shield, of the metal shield that you've placed on it. And then here you have the ability, at the very top of the code, you have the ability to um, uh, forward speed 200. Notice that 400 is full speed, so you can change 200 to 400 and it'll go, it'll go full speed. And you can change the turn dura duration in order to um, <clears throat> make it turn more. I like to have mine turn more into the board or kind of turn diagonally. Otherwise, it'll just kind of go along the border and not do much of anything. But here's my device manager. If you bring that up, <clears throat> then you should see when I plug in the board, so when I when I plug that in, you see that the um, the Arduino just refreshed, and now it's calling that COM3, oh, COM4, okay. So, all right, <laughs> it keeps refreshing, but you can see that that's COM4, and so that needs, whatever this shows up in your device manager, you need to make sure that you have it set, see this says, uh, Arduino Leonardo on COM4. So make sure that that is set under serial port is set to um, COM4. Okay. Once that is done, then then it should work. I'm not going to upload this one now, but um, well, I, actually, I guess I will. I'll go ahead and do it. Hit the button. And it should say uploading and then compiling sketch. You shouldn't get any errors if you do. Then make sure you copy the libraries over properly. Make sure you shut down Arduino and, and open it back up again. Uploading, if you see uploading, it means it's actually uploading the code um, to the board. And it says done uploading. So now the program is ready to go. Oh, there is one other thing that I forgot to mention that's very important. What I have found is that you can't do what I just did. Um, you can try and see if it works, but what I have found is that the Arduino board needs to be disconnected from the robot when you program it. It'll still program it, but it won't be correct. Now you can try it, hopefully yours will work. But um, program it without it connected to the robot. And um, then after it uploads, then you can connect it into the robot and then you'll be done. So that's about it that I remember. So I hope everyone has a lot of success with their Zemo robot. Thanks.